a bit croaky and a bit weird but it doesn't hurt so it's fine I had a day off yesterday and thank you so much for all your lovely comments that was lovely but I'm back because I am a naughty girl I'm on Father Christmas naughty list because I cannot do as I'm told <laughs> I get far too bored sitting around watching telly resting and doing nothing I am one of these people that has to do something, even if it's just pottering around or crafting or something. So just sitting, watching telly is not a good day for me. I hate it. And pyjamas are all very well when you've had a nice bath and you're snuggling on a Saturday night and watching a movie, but I can't wear my pyjamas all day. I just, I did yesterday and I just, I don't know just makes you feel even more lethargic. I hate it. Um, so I'm up and I'm washed and showered and dressed and I've got some makeup on and I feel so much better. The power of a shower and getting dressed is just amazing, I think, for making you feel better. Um, I just realised the washing machine's on and I'm croaky enough as it is, so let's go into another room. <laughs> Here we go, let's go to the front room. I say, <laughs> I've got like a comedy laugh, it's really funny, really odd. <laughs> so, um, let's sit on the sofa, that'd be nice. So I went to the doctors yesterday, um, cause I sounded like this, which isn't good, is it? You're not supposed to sound like this. Um, <laughs> so I've still got a cough, and um, basically I'm asthmatic, which I know I've told you before, and I had the pneumonia last year, so I'm a little bit, paranoid because I don't want to be in hospital again no one wants that um so yeah I went to the doctors and basically he's not overly concerned he um is lucky because he's an asthma specialist as well and basically I had a cold as you know which went onto my chest and it's upper respiratory not lower respiratory so I, there's no pneumonia or chance of that really because it's not lower down it's just up here in the tracheal area <clears throat> excuse me and basically I sound like this because I've got a cough and um like my windpipe and stuff apparently went into spasm and that's what's made that's what made my chest kind of close up and the cough has kind of made the throat and everything but he wasn't too overly concerned but because of my history of having like the pneumonia twice last year um this year and last year um he He's given me antibiotics for a week. He's given me the prednisolone steroid tablets for a few days. Um, he's given me a nebulizer at home to take once a day before bed just to open up my airwaves. Because he said that it's like, there's a tendency, it's, it might be to close my airwaves. So, But it's all precautionary, which I tried telling my husband and he was like, uh, but it is, it's kind of like... There's the potential that I've got a little bit of, an, of a chest infection looming. So he just wanted to kind of nip it all in the bud, basically, in case it got in case it got worse. So that's fine. I mean, it cost me like £35 yesterday, <coughs> which I wasn't expecting. But I don't think you should put a price on health, really. You know, quite happily go without cake or makeup or anything like that. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, it's all good. So I sound a bit like a horse crazy lady, um, which is fun. <laughs> but never mind, I feel much better. I promised I wouldn't go out for the rest of this week. I really wanted to go and finish off my Christmas shopping, but I think I'm going to do that the weekend. So I promised John I would stay. It's Wednesday. I promised him I'd stay in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and be semi-good. Um, he told me not to do any housework or cooking. But that ain't going to happen. Because <laughs> I've already got the washing machine on. And I've already cleaned out the girls. I've had my breakfast. Um, I'm going to run the hoover. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm just going to run the hoover around. Um, and that's it. And I might cook some pasta later. So I'll be fairly good today. Um, yeah. 
so I don't know what to do. I'm going to reply to all your comments in a minute, which is lovely. It's about 10 o'clock now. Um, I didn't rush out of bed. I was up at half seven. Um, cause John gets up at half seven anyway, and he was like, stay in bed, stay in bed. So I did, and I watched some YouTube in bed, and then sort of like got up leisurely and had a shower and did all my little bits and bobs with the girls and that. Um, yeah, so I sounded a bit like Kermit the Frog there, like, um. So yeah, I'm going to reply to all your lovely comments, which is lovely, thank you. And then, I don't know what I'll do today, I might do something. Ah, right, before I go for this first bit, John yesterday was so sweet, because he knew that my voice was bad, and that I probably wouldn't really be able to vlog. So do you remember on day seven, we went to the woods, and there was those Christmas trees that were decorated? Well, he went back to the woods yesterday and did some filming with his iPhone during a, in his lunch hour. Um, because he thought, he came home yesterday and he said, <coughs> excuse me, came home yesterday and he said, oh, I knew you wouldn't be able to talk today. So I've been and done, I've been back to the woods and someone's, the Christmas elves have been back and done loads more decorating. So I filmed it for you. Um, and I was like, oh, thank you, babe. That's so nice. Then I'd already put the slides up saying I was having a day off, so I decided not to do anything with it. So I'm going to insert the footage now that he took. Um, so it's the same forest as we sh as I showed you in day seven. So if you haven't seen that, go and check that video out, day seven. And yeah, Christmas elves have been back in the middle of the woods, and they've gone to town and decorated. So I'm going to insert the footage that John took yesterday on his iPhone now. girls are out in the garden because it's a fairly nice day today and I've taken the barriers down and the little piglets are being naughty they're in the bunny's house and I'm gonna try and show you I might have to zoom in ignore the sounds of the dishwasher so I'll probably just put some music over it <laughs> it's quite funny they've infiltrated I'll show you <laughs>
um, little bit of a craft project. Um, we get quite a lot of birds in our garden and as you know we've got quite an abundance of pine cones from various John's walks in the woods because he always picks up a couple and we've got a load on the mantelpiece, a load in a vase and stuff but I thought I would make a little treat for the feathered friends that we have in the garden so <coughs> excuse me I'll just turn you around hold on so on my kitchen workshop I've got some newspaper out and um, some pine cones I've got some garden wire and some secateurs um, I have some lard so it's just a cheap lard 59p if you haven't got lard I mean I don't I don't buy lard as a rule but this I bought to um, do this specific specifically um, and if you haven't got lard or you don't want to go out and buy lard um, peanut butter will do the trick just as well and then I've just got some mixed bird seed we normally have bird seed out in the feeders anyway so I had some on hand for our local um, nature sanctuary nature reserve sells bird seed which I buy from so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie I'll show you when it's finished I'm going to tie um, some wire around my pine cones to hold it up you know to fix it to something I'm going to smother lard <laughs> over the pine cones and then I'm going to roll it in bird seed so it sticks to the lard and then that'll be a nice treat to hang up um, for the birdies so yeah I'm gonna get cracking and then I'll show you what it looks like after so here we are <coughs> excuse me this is the finished results um, and you can make them as big as you want to or as small as you want to basically um, because you can keep going so <coughs> excuse me there's a couple of ways you can do it you can either take the take your lard this is what I've been left with <laughs> Um, you can take the lard and slap it onto your cone, push it in, and then roll the seeds in the lard. Or you can take your lard, a load of seeds, and just mush it all together and then slap it on. Um, and you can start off first by putting seeds actually into the pine cone and then sealing it with lard. And then, you know, you just keep building up the layers basically. Um, you know just keep building and building and building up the layers to make them as big as you like I've made these fairly small because they do get quite heavy and I don't want them to kind of drop off um, I don't know what's going on with that one <laughs> that's how long that side is and that's how long that side is so I'm going to have to do a bit of doctoring work on that one because I don't think it will stand up you know I don't think it will hang very well um, but yeah so you get the you twist your wire around the pine cone and then as you build up the the lard you it sort of embeds in that so secure now obviously this is, these are really soft still because the lard is still warm from being in my hands so just need to let them cool but I mean if you put them out in the garden now it's nice and cool so they'll cool off and go hard um, but ones that you're not using just store in a cool place obviously and your feathered friends all love you, I'm sure. Um, and this is the mess I'm left with. But because it was on paper, I'm literally just going to take that out now and pop it on the bird table so that they can eat all these loose bits. Um, I know it's probably cheaper to buy ready-made fat balls from the shop. But I like doing this for a couple of reasons. One, because I enjoy doing it and it's like a little craft for me. <laughs> and secondly, I kind of... I feel like I know what's gone into this and I feel like it's more natural. I don't really know what they put in fat balls, but I know that this was just pine cones, lard and bird seed. So that's how I do it. If you don't have any pine cones, you can use things like yogurt pots. You can puncture a hole. Hang on, I'll turn you around. If you don't have pine cones, you can use a yogurt pot and you can, an empty yogurt pot, and you can puncture a hole in the bottom of the yogurt pot to put your, um, excuse me, <coughs> your string through and then you can just fill the yogurt pot up with um make sure the string goes through the yogurt pot it's quite far down probably about halfway and then you can fill it up with a mixture of seeds and lard let it cool and then you can 
um, cut the yogurt pot off so you're left with like a, a square fat ball. And yeah, that's how I make fat balls for the birdies. So hopefully they'll be happy. It's gone really, really cold here now. So I'm going to get the bunnies in from the garden. I'm going to have my lunch. Um, and then I am going to be good. So here endeth today's vlog. Because I'm going to be good. And I'm going to spend the afternoon relaxing. Looking after myself. Really into my book. I'm really enjoying that. So I'm going to read my book. Watch some YouTube. Probably run the hoover around because I've made a bit of mess from the bird seed. And that's it for today. I'm gonna be a good girl. A surprise, aren't you? <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's it. So I'm gonna call it a day. Work out what I'm gonna have for lunch. Um, yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>